Hello and welcome to the Cloud Perceptic channel. In this session, we are going to see how to disable MFA delete on your S3 bucket. So in the first session, we saw how you can enable MFA delete on your S3 bucket. And uh, in the second session, we saw how you can use it. So in this, this session, we are going to disable the MFA delete. So first of all, let's uh, look at the Cloud Perceptor test bucket that we created in our for our demo where as you can see this MFA delete option is enabled and uh bucket version is also so we'll try to fire some commands and see how you can disable okay okay so <clears throat> the first uh command is aws s3 api yeah, good bucket versioning. Bucket versioning. Okay, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna provide the bucket name. So we'll provide the bucket name as next. We have to provide some versioning configuration of think configuration and uh, status is equal to disabled okay so this is the status for the versioning and next we are going to provide the uh mfa delete a delete equals to disabled okay and uh yeah next we have to provide the mfa uh serial number device serial number and uh the mfa code so device serial number you can get it from over here you need to click uh security credentials okay. and uh the MFA, uh, you know, this is the serial number you can get it from under the MFA tab. So we will paste this over here. Okay. Let's not copy it properly. Okay. So we'll paste it. Along with that, we'll put the MFA, uh, you know, generated token. So I'll log in to my Authy and open the Authy application on my phone and we'll generate the token. Give me a minute. Okay, and uh, they wrote, yes, 961443, 961443. You can, and, okay. Uh, maybe it is not accepting this correctly. Let's figure out what's wrong. So, looks like the command is not properly formatted. Uh, versioning configuration looks good. Status is equal to disabled and MFA delete is equal to this. All right, uh, everything looks good. Versioning configuration. Okay, let me just. Versioning configuration status. Status is equal to disabled. These in caps, yeah. Mm, okay, and comma is there, yeah. All right, I think I figured out uh, maybe instead of uh, MFA delete is equal to disabled, I should put it as suspended. And uh, let me just provide a fresh token 
that is generated by Authy. So 495100. 495100. Let's give it a try. Still, it is giving this error. It is not well formed. All right, uh, I think I figured out what could be the issue. Okay, so let me keep MFA delete is disabled. Okay, and uh, thing is that it should occur here. Promo status. Equals to disabled. Okay, and uh, let's provide the press token ID for uh, one seven three one one four from Othi. One seven three one one four three one one four. Right, so let's give it a try. It's still not working. Okay, so. Status is equal to enabled. We need to keep the status as enabled. Maybe I have to provide the new token again. 436050. 436050. All right. This worked. So basically, the issue was with, you know, we were uh, while disabling, okay, you need to provide the MFA delete option as first it should precede the status of the status is equal to enable and also you need to keep status is equal to enable so i'll put this command in the description window for your reference but first of all let's go back to our s3 bucket and see if it has really disabled the mfa delete on our bucket so yeah see it has worked as you can see the mfa delete is now disabled, but bucket versioning is still enabled. So you can uh, disable the bucket versioning, and you know later on you can delete the uh, bucket. So, so to save cost, you know, empty your bucket. Uh, maybe we also have to disable, but let's try. Maybe we'll have to disable the versioning first. Okay, that worked. So that's it for this session. You learned on how you can, you know, disable the MFA delete. Thanks for watching this video and do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.